Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the cervical torsion test. This is a special test that's used to rule in cervicogenic dizziness, that is, once the other causes of dizziness are ruled out, such as BPPV, a central vestibular deficit, or a peripheral hypofunction. Now, to perform the cervical torsion test, the patient, which is going to be me in this video, is positioned and sitting. And you can certainly do this in a regular chair, but it definitely is going to help to have a swiveling chair or a swiveling stool. Okay? Now, the PT, which is her in this case, she's going to stabilize the patient's head while they sit in that swivel chair or swivel stool. The patient is then instructed to close their eyes and keep them closed for the duration of the test. The patient is instructed to rotate their body 45 degrees to one direction and hold that position with their eyes closed for 30 seconds. So my eyes are closed here, the PT is stabilizing my head or the patient's head, and I'm going to use my feet to swivel in the chair to get my body rotated 45 degrees to the right. So when my body is rotated 45 degrees to the right, that actually corresponds to relative left neck rotation. So this position would actually be the left-sided cervical torsion test. So make sure you get that straight. Okay, so we're going to hold that for 30 seconds with my eyes closed. It's going to be a little bit less than that for the sake of the video. But then after the 30 seconds, I'm told to open my eyes. Okay, so my eyes are open there even though you can't see it. And the PT is going to assess for any subjective reports of the patient of dizziness or any related symptoms. Okay, If a patient has absolutely no issue with the neck, this should not cause any dizziness. It should be completely asymptomatic. But if the dizziness is of cervicogenic origin, then it will reproduce the patient's dizziness or familiar dizziness-related symptoms. That would be a positive test. Okay? Then this test is repeated on the other side. So same thing here. So she's going to stabilize my head, and I'm going to use my feet to swivel to the, to the left. So left body rotation, this is relative right rotation of the neck. So this is the right side of test. After 30 seconds, I'm going to open my eyes and let her know if I had any dizziness or related symptoms. Again, this would be a positive test if either of these pest positions, doesn't have to be both of them, could just be one of them, reproduce that dizziness or dizziness related symptoms. If nothing happens, then this is a negative test. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of the cervical torsion test. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button for notifications for all videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video.